FEMA and other organizations are helping tornado survivors all over West Alabama. And what they're doing and how has changed as the weeks and months have gone by. Tim Tyson's here from FEMA to give us the latest. Tim, thank you very much for being with us again today, sir. Appreciate, appreciate it. That too, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> How's you been? I've been good. I've been good. And, and yeah. it looks like West Alabama's getting better and better. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with you guys and, and what lies ahead. We're, we're back down to another crunch time. Uh, registration deadline is on Monday. Uh, people have until midnight Monday to register at, on the, the website. Uh, they can call the uh, FEMA hotline number uh, until the evening. Uh, the main push right now is to get people to complete their SBA loan applications. And we, we've talked about this you know, times before, but the, uh, the loans from the SBA will help offset what your insurance company has, has not paid you uh, for your full recovery. Uh, the average uh, SBA loan now is 56000 which really indicates to us there's a shortfall between what the insurance company is paying you in compensation and how much it, it's going to cost to get you back up on your feet. Uh, the SBA loans are as low as 2.5%. Uh, a homeowner can borrow up to $200,000. A renter, $40,000. Uh, business, $2 million. So uh, especially in, in the shape of the economy, uh, it, would, it, it really does make sense to take this opportunity from the SBA. If you're turned down for the SBA loan, uh, it doesn't go against your credit rating and it does make you eligible for other potential FEMA grants for personal property, vehicles, and so forth. Uh, the grants don't have to be paid back. Uh, to help facilitate this, there is a, um, a meeting tomorrow at the uh, Shelton uh, Community College from two till four in the afternoon and five till seven in the evening. Uh, SBA will be there, FEMA will be there, our community relations people, mitigation, voluntary agencies uh, to help you uh, complete that process. The, uh, you know, the disaster recovery centers for FEMA were closed uh, last weekend. They've been replaced by these disaster loan outreach centers for the SBA. Uh, they're open from, five, from 8 till 5 every day, Monday through Friday. And they'll be, still be open for the, you know, the weeks to come until further notice. So they're not closing. Uh, the real closing deadline is on Monday. If you haven't registered by close of business on Monday um, for FEMA, then it closes the door to you to the SBA and the other FEMA grants. And uh, like I said, the, uh, the registration number is our hotline number, which we've used many times before. Uh, and we'll see if you remember what it is. Uh, I'd have to look down with, without see. reading it off the prompter. One eight hundred six two one three three six. You cheated. Uh, I did. Or if you go to, it, the, it won't be the first and last <laughs> time. <laughs> first or last time, or you can go to the website, disasterassistance.gov, and if you have a, a, a mobile app like you have, you go to m.fema.gov and register there. Um, we'll still be here for a long time. Long-term recovery started out in, in Holt. Uh, we have uh, other FEMA resources uh, in in the state and in the region. So uh, FEMA will still be here, but if you haven't registered by Monday, then we, we don't know who you are. All right. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate sure. it. Always a pleasure having you on the show. FEMA has lots of ways to assist you if you're a tornado survivor. You can call them toll free at 1-800-621-3362, and you can find them online at fema.gov assistance.